Good morning, people. It is day number Sunday. <laughs> That's a number. Uh, it's day number 34. Uh, day 33, Saturday. I observed as the Sabbath. I'm doing Sabbaths. And I've chosen Saturdays. Um, reason for this is I need to rest every day. Um, doing a lot of walking, um, dedicating a lot of work to the faith, to God. And I was told, well, I had that voice, you know, and said, All right, next up, Sabbath. I understand what it is and and follow it. <laughs> and the instructions were <laughs> stay off your feet, um, rest and no recordings so I'm like, okay i could either pick saturday or sunday but ultimately all well, the research i did saturday was the original day so i went with saturday but if you guys do sunday if you do friday like as long as one day just gets dedicated to god that's all that's the idea so this is this is how i've been sleeping for the last uh, 36 hours, there's just one, two, three, there's a fourth one somewhere down there, and then the really heavy wool one on the floor. And the tent has stayed pretty good, pretty dry, and that's covered with water right now because... Um, it's been raining for since yesterday evening and so it's 8 a.m. now so yeah it's been raining for about 12 hours and I really haven't got out of the tent but if you see all this black stuff here on the carpet all right what a trick I learned to make your tent smell nice is you take a couple sticks of incense with you and then you crumble it up you put it on a sleeping bag or put it on the floor or whatever and as you roll around because you are going to roll around um, then you spread that incense all across the blankets and your clothes and whatnot, and you smell pretty good. So, it's a easy and cheap way to stay, um, perfumed up. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready? We're gonna open the door without getting any water on us. Oh, and there was a small animal that was like right here and I seen a little shadow at like three o'clock in the morning and it started to like poke its nose through and it just went and it went I like the sound effects I was like what kind of animal was that I need a chance to see oh it's nice out I'm getting water on it you got the water going the other way it's supposed to be down in temperatures you guys ready? Let me extend the stick. Bad. Going. Out. Oh, and it came back. Hold on. I didn't lock that one. Okay. This is this is the stealth camping. You guys have seen it in the picture, right? <laughs> um, or at least on the Facebook. I put it so I was like, well, where's Waldo? And this thing blended in really nice into this environment. Nobody knows I'm up here. Okay, so you ready? So this is behind me. Da, da, da. It's a fortress. Uh, hold on. It's very hard to do with this stick like this. One second. No, oh, bear with you guys. Okay. There's the fortress. Then the sun is just coming up. I'm poking my head out of the tent. The sky is clear, that's for sure. I gotta charge my electronics. I'm down to like 10% on everything. Uh, here is the bay. Oh, bear with me. Alright. 
It's a good morning. Oh. There's a whole blanket. This one here. As a little bit of water came in, it just absorbs it right up and it stays dry. So this is cotton, I know this for sure, and this is definitely wool. Wool is heavier than two. <laughs> but this thing, this this ground one, this did amazing. Um, I polished off almost the entire bag of bread, so I'm down to one loaf. <laughs> That'll be my breakfast for today. And I gotta find electricity. I gotta find some food, but not really that necessary. Um, and go back for some fresh water. Uh, yeah, so. Let's start the day. Woo! It's good. The button on the stick is working. So, out of the things that um, have come down from the heavens, uh, I forgot if I covered this or not, are <laughs> brand new set of snow boots. <laughs> now you're thinking, and I was thinking, hmm, why do I need snow boots? On a tropical island. Well, they are waterproof for one, which is awesome. And since it's been raining for the last 12 hours and everything is wet all the way around me, um, my sneakers, even though they're supposed to be waterproof, are no longer that because I have just put too many kilometers on them. And the Lord said, I want your feet to stay dry. So here are some snow boots. <laughs> he said, hold on to them. You're going to need them. I'm like, why do I need these? Yeah. So these are absolutely brand new boots. Um, <laughs> they just fell out of the sky. And I'm going to put them on and walk through this really tall, wet grass. So I can go to a sunny spot and get my solar panel set up with the battery bank and start charging. So I got electricity for the day. I could go into a coffee shop next to the plug it to the wall, but I don't want to be that guy unless it's absolutely necessary, like if the sun doesn't come out for a few days. Um, yeah. So this is my fortress again. How do you guys like my fortress? <laughs> my fortress. And over there, I got one of their ships. One of the Navy ships are docked in. I guess they want some repairs or whatnot. Oh, I met two Americans uh, out of Boston, too, that uh, were here working on some of their stuff. So <laughs> I guess the U.S. likes to contract out a lot of mechanics in different areas of the world. <laughs> I haven't seen any U.S. soldiers whatsoever, or uh, U.S. Sa sailors. That'd be interesting to come across, too, but uh, I just don't think it's just one of those spots here. Uh, oh, and that's the view from that way. Yeah. And before I get out of this comfortable, comfortable bed, today's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord Jesus. I claim your blood, the blood of Christ, over myself, this tent, this channel, the viewers watching from the other side, their homes, their travels, and their day. Heavenly Father, I know that every day I ask for this, but every day I will continue to ask for the blood of Christ to be covered over all of us and to wash us all clean. Furthermore, I repent of all my sins, known and unknown. I'm doing my best to live as clean as possible, and my accomplishments are only happening because you are with me showing me what to do. The Holy, the Holy Spirit puts that voice in me every day of what to say, where to go, what to look at, and because I'm doing that, because I'm following the Holy Spirit, everything is working out accordingly. So I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And I repent. I repent. I repent of 
all of my sins, or any of my ongoing sins, as I said. Amen. Strange, now that I think about it, Google hasn't given me the word of the day. It just stopped. <laughs> I'm going to find out what happened with that one. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, I am going to start to move around and stay tuned for exciting stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit cold out today. I'd say it's probably like 50 degrees this morning. And it has that, uh, that ocean or that, that sea chill. Moisture is what I'm getting at. There's moisture in the air. Uh, so, this is my charging station for today. Tripod, All right? Solar panel hooked up at a five degree angle towards facing uh, the sun because that is the angle in which I got to make. And as the sun moves throughout the day, um, I can move the tripod. But this this system right here, it's such an easy system to, to work with. So like I say, solar panel, right? And then it goes down and it fills up battery bank. It'll take about six hours to do, but I've got all the electricity I need at the end of the day. So I just have to maintain the phone, which means I can't spend much time on the phone <laughs> well other than making the videos for today um, and the reason <laughs> for this setup this morning is because I completely forgot I could do it uh, I was gonna break out the tripod to find a good spot to do one of the Bible verses but then as I'm setting it up and I'm looking at the solar panel tucked in the rocks <laughs> and the Holy Spirit's like okay don't worry about the scripture right now. Just make that happen. Where to go? Where to go? Do that first, and then we'll get on to the next part. So I was like, "Oh yeah, I forgot I could do this." <laughs> so now I'm happy because it's in the sun. It's doing its thing. Uh, it is Sunday. There is a church nearby. I haven't heard any bells yet. The average time I think most masses kick off here, I think, is about 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Which is, it is just about that time. Oh, and the boots. <laughs> Check out the boots. <laughs> Not only are they super comfortable, and they fit perfectly, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Um, they're soaking wet on the outside. <laughs> so my sneakers wouldn't have held up in here. So, Jesus. In all his wisdom is like here here are some snow boots even though it's not gonna snow and I'm gonna wait until you put them on so you figure out what it, what the reasons for and I can put them on and start walking around I'm like oh <laughs> you're smart <laughs> of course he's smart he can predict the future right <laughs> I can only predict the future based on patterns of things he <laughs> can um, not just forecast the future, but make the future happen. So, yeah, that's a thing for now. Um, my hands are actually a little bit cold. I need to find maybe some gloves, put some socks over my hands, and go to church. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be completely, completely out of the ordinary. But that's the goal, and that's how I kind of like it. Yeah, whether it's the lone wolf thing. <laughs> The one, what was it, the movie Hangover? The uh, one man wolf pack or something like that? <laughs> um, no, because I enjoy people's company, I do. But on this type of journey, everything is up to this guy. And if I'm staying isolated, I gotta stay isolated for a little bit. If I get some company, I get some company. One of the two. Um, last night I got to listen to some newfound Christian rap rock and had a lot of messages in it and definitely helped me because I needed that time and yesterday as, as, as I said I observed the day of the Sabbath or the day of what felt right for me and I feel energized I feel refreshed today my feet feel so much better as I stayed off them yeah all right let me clean up my face and uh, see if that church is open. I'm gonna go from there. 
All right, we are starting the expedition again on the island. Navy Fortress on. Oh, and I found one more thing. <laughs> Another gift. See this? This bracelet. All right. It's my style too. I like it. Another gift from up above. And it still had the tags on it. <laughs> Traverse some of this stuff. All right, let's go this way. All right, so I'm being pushed right now to walk walk towards uh, the one church that caught my attention uh, from two days ago. Don't know if it's going to be open, but I don't know. It's just to go that direction. <laughs> And being led by the Holy Spirit. You know, I'd like to say that I could be crazy. Oh, I am crazy. It's <laughs> the things that have gone on in my life, I am crazy. Um, if I'm going to hear voices, <laughs> then it better be <laughs> the voice of God. And so far, Every single step of the way, every time I do listen to this voice, something good comes out of it. So, for you, for those of you out there that do hear voices, okay, and there are so many of you, I know this because I've come across many of you that won't admit it until I pull it out of you, and then you're like, yeah, I hear four or five different voices, and they all have different personalities, <laughs> they all have uh, different personas, right? Oh, I even watched, well, with someone that, uh, now that I think about it, I've been with a few girls in the past, a few women, that had exactly this scenario. Out of one, I watched probably two to three hundred different voices come out of this person, all different types of personas across the ages, <laughs> talking anywhere from... Uh, a couple hundred years ago um, to people from different countries or speaking different languages. I watched someone pray in Latin for 30 minutes um, after a deliverance happened and <laughs> they don't know Latin. <laughs> so yeah, that was the thing. Um, you know, but the point I'm getting at is if you're hearing voices, okay, it's a lot more common than you think it is. I know you're afraid to tell your friend, friends or family, afraid to go to the doctors, they're going to label you a schizophrenic, right, because that's the easy way to do it, and then give you drugs. No. The answer is no to all that. You only express what happens to you to other ones that are in the same boat. And of course, send it up to God. Because the second you start trying to tell people what you're experiencing, if they're not experiencing it, or worse yet, they're an agent from down below, their goal is to make you feel like you're crazy and you're isolated and you're alone and no one understands you. That's their goal. So therefore, you start going down that rabbit hole thinking you need the medications, which just numb you out, all the kinds of effects on your body, and they do nothing for you. This is all by design, people. It is all by design. Embrace your strangeness, send up a prayer for clarity when you don't understand something, or a vision that you get, and the answers will come down to you. All right? And I'm telling you, personally, out of many people that I've had to deal with, okay, that have had these multiple personas, okay, they knew things that was impossible to know about other people, about me, and this is how I know what's hiding in them is demonic, because these are the voices that are telling them to do some bad stuff, or constantly telling them that they're not worth it, they are broken, they don't deserve anything, right? Those are demonic forces. They're hearing 
those voices. Now, the way these demons like to work, especially in the beginning, is they can do, they got powers, they can do a lot of things. They will mask their individual voices with your voice. So, what you'll hear is what you think is your inner voice, but no, it's them doing it to you, thinking it's yourself doing it to yourself. Crazy stuff, right? But I've watched this over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, I don't have any of those demonic voices in my head. I had other types of voices uh, that would lead me in directions that ultimately would harm me, like set traps, to put it this way, lead me in directions that would ultimately be a trap, and then I'd have to work my way out of it. But the voice that I follow now just keeps leading me to good spots. <laughs> so I'm going to be crazy, and I'm going to listen to voices. I'm going to listen to the one that gets me free stuff all the time. <laughs> No, I don't mean I don't mean it like that. Consumerism, but consistently provides everything that I need on a day-to-day -day basis, the right moment, the right time, in a healthy way. So that's it for now. I keep moving. See what's coming up. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but directly there. We either have an Italian uh, cruiser or Corvette, one of the two. But um, yeah, it's, I wish I had like a little tour and I could go out on there and check it out. Now in Manhattan, they've got uh, a large aircraft carrier you can walk out onto and it's got all the, the jets from the ages, all the generations. Oh yeah, hold on a second, we got a better view. One second. Yep, there we go. There is some Italian Navy. Ah, uh, meow. <laughs> well, I'm still heading over to the church. I get distracted because. <laughs> However, I think they're just a tad bit too small. Ooh, it is brisk out this morning. And tonight's supposed to get down to 5 degrees. That's about 40 or so. The Holy Spirit was spot on because this church here, um, the doors are open and I'm not going to record obviously going inside because that would be disrespectful, but this is where I'm going this morning, see what happens. <laughs> so I made it just in time. The service started about four minutes after I arrived into, this, into the main doors over there, you see? Very nice church. Inside, like every every common church is just absolutely beautiful inside. So I went to the mess, uh, received my Holy Communion. And days, like I said, of being raised as a Roman Catholic, I still remember some things. I can't exactly pray because, well, to follow along with the mass services because I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> but I have to follow at least the gist of standing up and sitting down and doing a couple other things like that. So, it was good. Um, <laughs> now, of course, the Holy Spirit will lead me <laughs> directly to something special that's happening today at the church. Um, I walked in, I chose a spot right against the wall, front left side, and then five minutes into service, everybody turns and faces me. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> So then I realized that the ushers were coming over to pull down one of the paintings of a saint. And I'm like, oh, maybe they're gonna replace it with a different painting or I don't know. And 
don't know what's going to happen. And uh, so after I figured that all eyes were not on me, um, they started singing, and the picture came down, and then behind the painting was a pristine statue of the saint himself. So it was like an unveiling of sorts. I don't know which saint this is, or which one it could have been, but I think it's safe now to walk inside and show you guys what was hidden behind the painting. It was like a hidden treasure. <laughs> so hold on a second. Let's do this again. Mm -hmm. Now I understand the jewelry. It looks snazzy today. Okay. I want to show you guys best that I can what church looks like here. So behind the painting that they pulled down right next to me, <laughs> kind of gave me a mini heart attack. This saint here. I don't know who he is, but this, uh, this service, this is a very nice service, guys. I'm happy about this one. So, okay. I just sneak back out of here. Because I'm sure it seems a little strange. Oh, I don't know if I feel right about bringing the camera inside, but this is part of the testimony. So I was sitting right next to that as it was happening. <laughs> okay, that's the thing. That's the thing for today, Sunday morning. And I did it again, guys. Um, my last euro-ish, my last dollar. I keep forgetting to put out the collection plates here. And I'm like, all right, let's put it in. Let's put it all in. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't expect anything to happen, but it just seems like it's a good place to put it. And I feel free. I don't know why that is. I feel free of worrying about money. So, all right, that's my thing for this morning. It's uh, probably about 10 a.m. Battery's charging. Off the solar panel somewhere. Um, I have faith that it's still there. And yeah, let's start the day. I have found another abandoned site. You guys want to check it out? Okay. Let me uh, turn this on the top of my head so I can see where I'm going. Yeah, this is definitely a. Uh, Maybe a little pump house. Oh, this place is big. I'm thinking. I don't know, maybe a school? Definitely a place to get out of the rain and cold. Kind of like it, but at the same time, uh, I don't feel it's safe in here to sleep at night. Not what we got on top. Oh, it is warm in here though. Yeah, like if it was raining for a couple days, I definitely would pick this spot out, no problem. Let's 
place. Toilet. Of course, the toilets are destroyed. Oh no. That right there definitely is still one is a miracle. <laughs> Normally that's the first thing people destroy. Let's see if it works. Nope, don't work. Definitely stripping the copper. So you got more shower stalls, the elevator. I don't want to get too close to those uh, wires. I don't know what's still alive. The garage door, but we're two stories up. <laughs> what's the point of this one? I don't have enough context clues to put it together as to what this... Hmm, maybe it was part of the Navy Barracks. I think maybe that's what this was, what this was, and they just let it go over time. It's something that the US military does all the time. <laughs> they just leave places behind. Even a nice bed tub in there. Oh, over there. Oh, that's cool. We'll get a perfect view of some of the cruises out there. We're not having to worry about it. if we're going to get. Uh, Arrested for the videotaping. Because in all the way, that's a thing. No cameras around any military installation. The ones of you that are not in the military, anytime you get around a base, you're going to see on the outside fence uh, a bunch of plaques saying no recording or no photography. And I mean, back in the day, yeah, they used to be a normal thing, but you might actually get harassed for that. But nowadays, I guess suppose it really doesn't matter, because you got Google Earth, you got endless amounts of people just able to record it, you know, fingers touch. So, nothing's really a secret anymore. What do they do in here? They just destroyed the stalls. So this is definitely the first cool thing of the day. Uh, I wouldn't have a problem staying in here. This place is huge. You can hear somebody coming from a mile away. system, the mic system, 
How old? How long ago do you think this thing was in operation? Those phones look like they're from the 90s. Elevator number three. Okay, we got stairs here. The wall seems to be gone. Let me show you. <laughs> Keep getting better and better views. <laughs> yeah. I gotta take a pro professional picture. That's definitely worth a shot. Oh, down the roof. All right. <laughs> now, this is pretty cool, right? Walking around in a bend in Navy Italian. Italian Navy barracks. All right, all right. Huh. Oh, I better read something while you're walking. Uh, let me take this photo real quick. I'll be right back. back. Yeah, I want to use. The, uh, the Navy is the next cover photo for this day's movie. Day number 34. Man, my legs feel so much better. These boots. These, these snow boots are actually really comfortable. <laughs> my feet are staying warm and dry. All right, all right, what do we got? It's another, another room. here it completely gutted this thing because they, they did an awesome job cleaning it out I mean, there's really no garbage <laughs> it's just a, a broken building itself Even the floors are nice and a pile of marble all right I think that is it because the doors are still locked, which means there's someone trying to where to lock it who's living in there, or nobody's ever opened it since we closed it down. Oh, never mind. Now it appears that way. Hello. I don't ever want to stumble on. <laughs> Unsuspecting homeless person. What's what's the point of this? Can't they just leave the toilets where they're supposed to be? Don't know what this would have been. There's not enough to go off of. However, there is a. Oh, it's the chapel. How do I know this? Well, 
library? No. No, this is a bunch of, this is a bunch of uh, religious documentation. Okay. And everything is in Italian, so nothing I can really work with. Here. Wait. Okay, there's holes. <laughs> and there's holes here, and there's holes here. Hmm, I don't know what it is. There's holes here. So, I'm thinking this is a confession booth. Very, very strange. I mean, it's not strange to be a confession booth. It's the fact that it's so well intact. <laughs> Nobody wanted to screw with that thing. more books inside a bathtub. How oh, what, what are those? Pretty new. Okay. Um, we have a room full of clothes. <laughs> okay. And a bed. All right. That concludes the walkthrough from here. Um, gotta save my battery. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of whatever this establishment was. Um, let's find something else for today. I am on the way back to the campsite. And I just hope my tripod is still there. <laughs> kind of would suck to lose that, but... Starting to see people out and walking Sunday around the area. And the tripod. Now everything's blended in pretty good. But I got my faith. I got my faith sent up that everything will be protected. Because I have a testimony to get out. An ongoing testimony. And in order to do so, I kind of need some things. Like this phone. <laughs> at minimum and a way to charge it everything else is a plus but it just makes my life a little easier all right now moment of truth is my stuff still there the tent is still there fantastic can you guys see it <laughs> over right there and now for the tripod Oh, I've got to roll my pants. Yes! Hard stuff for a minute because I forgot to move it over there. It means it hasn't been touched. Thank you, Jesus. And these boots were such an awesome idea. Because as you can see, I left the cups down. I had to put them down for church so it looked a little normal. Uh, but, yeah, these things are really comfortable. Now I'm walking through this high grass, and I'm getting wet. Okay, now let's see where we're at. I'm going to adjust. The sun has moved. So, spin it this way. Yeah. Okay. And that'll no less than five, but no more than a five percent angle towards the sun. I'm gonna loosen up this one. Just about correct. All right. Battery bank. Just charging. <laughs>
takes a while. Like I said, about six hours. So I work about 9% battery left. I'll make it work. Okay, I'm back and I got some battery power. <laughs> Finally. Um, over here at this cafe, I just kind of wandered into, I need some electricity. And I just started to strike up a conversation with uh, an individual. I won't release his name, but he hooked me up with some electricity by his table. We got to talking and he started explaining some cool things in this area. Now, uh, what he was telling me was in that direction over there happens to be some pink flamingos. <laughs> so I'm gonna go check that out and some soul flats. And then somewhere in side of the island. Oh, okay. Um, is a World War One site where they built a blimp or they built blimps, airships. Uh, those giant floaty things. They were like the size of a football field. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna go explore that together on Wednesday. And yeah, it's gonna be cool. Every day I got something to do, but tonight's gonna be cold, like five degrees. I can't I gotta be prepared for that. Sitting about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, and it's time we can start to do something. Uh, for the majority of the day, I've been hearing the word fast, whether it's been forced upon me or not. But I'm gonna go start looking for some food because I would like to eat. We'll see what happens. All right, so. Ask and you shall receive, right? Uh, I was told to do a little walk and to bring a bag, and now I know why. I've collected up some of the cactus fruit, um, and I've located some oranges, but I'm going to get them on the way back. And right now, I am being led behind this giant cemetery um, in the middle of nowhere to find fruit so sun's gonna set soon uh, I'm warm I'm warm but it's definitely one of the coldest days out so far uh, I'll let you guys know what kind of things I find all right so I gotta be quiet I'm kind of in um I located, remember those orange things that taste like a banana and uh, a mango, like put together? All right, so that's the tree up there. I was like, oh man, they're not ready yet, because I'd seen them on the other side of the fence. And then, <laughs> this right here, has much bigger ones. It's like a, a sea and then an enemy. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's it's kind of kind of strange looking. But anyway, mm. the point is they're edible. And there's a whole bunch hiding in here. Yeah, see, look at this size. Holy Spirit told me, <laughs> take a bag. Okay. I'm gonna cut it here so I can well, I can get to uh, all these things on. Okay, so in this bag, <laughs> as I said before, I said, take a bag with you. Uh, it's probably about four kilos of, well, I'm just gonna call them palm nuts, because I, I don't know what they are. But the outside is edible. The inside is a hard nut. Um, it is exactly like those little ones that I found. However, they're just not, they're not ripe yet. But it's still food. Then I got the 
the cactus fruit. I ate two of them. And man, are those things delicious. Definitely on the top of my list of things that I enjoy as far as natural fruit goes. Uh, apparently there are three different types. A white, a green, and a red. All coming out of the Midwest. Yeah, so apparently they were brought over here. <laughs> they were brought over here and it just kind of spread. But you guys donn't get a chance to eat your cactus fruit. Man. Definitely one of the sweetest fruits I've ever seen. Uh, and then I found mini oranges. Because on this island, there's not a whole bunch of grows. So I'm trying to do my best to talk at the same time. Uh, yeah, so that kind of concludes today. I just got a bunch of walking to do back. Unless blesses me with something else this will be sufficient for tonight thanks for staying tuned and I thank every subscriber that has subscribed and ultimately is watching uh, keep in mind guys there is absolutely no pattern to this there's no there's no planning there's no There's nothing scripted about this. This is live. This is as real as it's going to get as to what it looks like when you're completely relying on your faith. And every day, he provides. So tonight, I'm going vegan. Uh, so this is my score for tonight. Cactus root, lemon, Oranges and a whole bag of palm nuts. Not too bad, it's all free. So I'm gonna sit here and eat, and it looks like I got some company. But I don't think I, I can really feed them these things. We'll see. All right, that's it for day number 34. I'm signing out. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my cactus fruit. Have a good night, guys.